So guys, today it's nice and sunny. So I'm going to take advantage of getting the canoe ready. So I've turned it upside down and I gave it a, a wash first because it was a bit manky underneath. And then I've um, sanded it back. Oh, see, it's all sanded now with some P60 fine grit sandpaper. And then that way the paint will uh, stick to it a lot easier. Check if there's any damages or anywhere that needs repair. I've got a little mark there, but that's from when it was made, so there's nothing there really. And then quite quite a few scratches from underneath, but when I put this new paint on, it'll be alright. That. So the next bit is painting it. That's the plan. So don't forget to. Uh, check out my next video after this it'll be painted by then and it'll look great so like I say on the previous video I've seen it if you've seen it I've got the paint and everything else so I'm going to mix the paint now paint it and then you'll have to wait for the next video and then you'll be able to see um, it all painted up and everything else and then I've got some cool details coming for it also and then it'll look great that so while it's funny I'm going to take this advantage and do it now Thanks very much folks, just a quick video of this and I'll see you shortly on the next one. So look at it now folks, it's been painted, I've had about four or five coats on the hull because obviously that gets a beating and then I ran out of grey because I used that much on the hull that I've had to use um, boat paint, floor paint, whatever, the white stuff there but to be honest it breaks it up a bit don't you? Doesn't it look amazing now I think? Just wait, I've got some more finishing touches, but that's it for the paintwork for now. I've kept a little bit of grey left because I've got a few t finishing touches to do, like a little bit underneath the seal there, the lip thing. But other than that, it's going to look great when it's done. I want to be on the water on it this week sometimes, or if not next week at the latest. But we'll have to wait and see. But the worst of it's done now, I think. I've just got to wait for it to harden off. But I've got rain forecast later on today. Or should I say tomorrow morning, realistically. I mean, got blue sky so far. Well, that never lasts forever. Look at it. I've even done the filler as well. I had a little hole at the side, but it was at the top anyway, so I filled that in with car filler. And everything looks hunky dory. Like I can say, can't wait. Wait till I do the. Uh, I've got a shark mouth there, uh, like they did in Vietnam. Shark mouth going. And that'll look great once that's applied onto it. And then it's a case of. Uh, I'm going to put some rubber foam on it. That's it so far. I think it looks fantastic. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's just a few little bits and pieces I need to do with the grey paint. But I thought the, whole, the main thing was to get the hole done and the majority of it done. Because it needs to harden off. It needs at least two days, realistically, to harden off solid. And then uh, later on this afternoon, or later on tonight, I'll tip the boat up. And then uh, when the rain comes, it should be fine. Anyway, let's crack on.